now I'm gonna bring up a Jackie. Let's get it. Come on, Jackie Trevor. Ladies and gentlemen, so Yamini, thank you for holding this vision and this space and bringing this lovely event to fruition. Again, round of applause for Yamini. Thank you. So, who in here is intuitive? Raise your hands. Hmm? Who in here has had some kind of supernatural experience? I've seen a ghost, I heard unexplained sounds. Everyone, everyone. Okay, so I am a psychic medium. I see dead people. And uh, as a little child, I had visitations and things going on in my room. And I went to my mom and I said, Mom, how come when someone dies in the family, they come to see me afterward? Very wisely, she said, because they love you. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want anything else. What are we doing to develop our intuition? How could it make our lives easier, right? How many times have we had an experience, we've got this guidance, something's telling us, and then we don't listen? Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Raise your hands. Why is this? Why aren't we listening? Well, because we've been conditioned not to believe, I think, right? Who in here's mother would have said, well, you're seeing strange things and it's love. Whose mom would have said that here? Anybody? One, maybe two hands. Good. <laughs> now, how many of you are mothers? Fathers. And if your kid comes to you and says, I see dead people, there's someone who's knocking at my door, whatever, what are you going to say to your kids? What are you going to say? Anybody? Yeah, <laughs> say hello. <laughs> right, on Ghost Hunters, don't they go, Hello? And who? Hello? Does anybody see this show? It's great stuff. It's all around. Right now, this is acceptable, people. Not so long ago, we couldn't be up here talking about this. We couldn't have a goddess festival, right? So what are we going to do? Develop our intuition. Ask me how. <laughs> how do we do this? First of all, we have to believe it. This is natural. Sixth sense. Right? We have five, and then there's the sixth. How do, we, how do we access this? First, we have to let go of the blocks. So Kelly was up here, and she talked about erroneous thinking, you know, blocking. We have a chakra system. I'm not going to go into it now. It's technical. But if we clear this up, we automatically become more intuitive. We release these emotional blocks, these things that keep us in fear, Doubt. Oh, bells. Bells from heaven. <laughs> so, so we release this. We breathe it out. We put, I always tell the women, write on your bathroom mirror in lipstick. Whatever it is you're trying to shift, shift it. Focus on it. It will release. It'll loosen up. Sometimes working with clients in breath work, you can actually see it go. And it's like, oh, yes, we were trying to get rid of that one for a while. Allowing your innate creativity to come forward. And then just being fully present with whatever it is. If it's uncomfortable emotions, breakups, whatever it is, accidents, whatever. Just being present with it. Like Lynn talked about, doing the work. We do the work. We look at, so what's the root cause of this? Releasing it. Letting whatever else is connected to it, like a big ball of yarn, just start to unravel it. And then again, our greatness begins to show up. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. It is safe. It's okay. Just let it be. Let it be. Thank you. Embrace by light, my creator within me. Off these lies I believed that kept me bound from being who I'm meant to be.